Hey guys, this is Ken from jazzam.com and today we'll be doing a comparison between the Panerai Luminor GMT on my left here and we're going to be comparing it against the uh, Panerai Luminor base model reference number PAM114 we'll be going over the price, the dial, bezel, crown, uh, case, strap, buckle and the move and the moving towards the end of the video. <clears throat> so as of January 2017, the Panerai Luminor GMT, the PAM88, retails for $7,500, but at jazz time you can get it for as low as $4,400. For the Luminor base model, <clears throat> uh, the PAM114 is currently discontinued, um, but the retail market runs anywhere for, uh, around $4,800, but you can get it at jazz time for as low as $4,400 as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and compare the dials. <clears throat> so for the G for the base model, on my right here, you can see that it's very, uh, very simplistic compared to the GMT. It's not too cluttered. There's no date on the three o'clock position uh, for, uh, for visibility. We only have the hands and these little tiny uh, circular indicators at the very, uh, at the end of each hour marker, as you can see there. Their little dots are luminescent for up to eight hours. Whereas, <clears throat> whereas the Luminor GMT, all these are, uh, has index markers with only Arabic numerals for the 12 and the 6, uh, six o'clock positions. Um, however, the hands, the tips of the hands, with all those markers are luminescent for up to uh, eight hours. The, for the second hand, it's a subdial located at the nine, uh, the nine o'clock position on a GMT, and it is also luminescent as well. For the Luminor base model, there is no second hand. Um, one thing to note about that is that the Luminor isn't COSC certified because of uh, because of the fact that it has no second hand. So the GMT is COSC certified, meaning that it has a minus four or plus uh, minus four or plus six seconds a day gain or loss. <clears throat> For the hands. One thing I want to mention is for the GMT model, we have these skeletonized hands. Um, the reason for that is because it wants, uh, they're trying to keep the readability uh, much more clean, uh, much cleaner as the hands sweep around the dial. You don't want to block out the Luminor GMT text or the Panerai text, or, if, or you don't want to block out the second sub dial as well. So that's something to keep in, uh, something to keep in mind. Um, for the exact functions of the GMT and how that works, we actually we do have that as a separate uh, standalone video on our YouTube channel, so you can check that out of how to use the GMT function on the Luminar GMT. Okay, um, let's go ahead and move on to the bezel. Bezels pretty much completely the same here. Not not really much to say about it besides that it's just a high polished bezel, very nicely uh, reflective of the light. For the crowns, same thing. Same thing here, uh, except that the only f that the function of the crown on the Luminor GMT is a little bit different. Like I said, we have a YouTube uh, standalone YouTube video for that. Whereas the Luminor base model just only allows for adjustment of the hands bidirectionally and to wind the watch. Uh, otherwise, they both have this very similar crown protector, uh, which is controlled by a lever there. Okay. For the case size, these are both 44 millimeter case, uh, case, 44 millimeter cases, and I'll go ahead and show you the side profiles of these watches. Okay. okay. As you can see here, not not very much difference here either. Pretty much the same size, uh, pretty much the same size here. Okay. But it does have a nice high polish on, along the sides. For the Let's go ahead and move on to the straps now. For the straps, on my left here on the GMT, we have the rubber strap, which has the official Panerai name engra uh, engraved on it, or embossed on it. While on the right, we have the black alligator leather band. The buckles on them are a little bit different. They both have the Panerai name uh, embossed on them. The leather, the leather buckle has a high polish on its buckle, while the rubber has a more of a sand finish. Uh, the difference being here, 
um, the panorama, the rubber uh, rubber strap has a butterfly deployment, as you can see there. Has the official panorama name embossed onto the class uh, class blade, or rather, just a class. Always buckles buckles right to left. Very simple. Pops in like that. Very nice. Whereas the whereas the buckle for the letter is just a very simple, just pin through. As I'll show you here, it's very simple. Okay. Uh, one thing to mention is that the straps are interchangeable, so it doesn't mean that the base model only has a leather strap, and it doesn't mean that the GMT model only has a rubber strap. You can purchase either straps. Um, and have them swapped out at any time. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the movements to the movements now. So this is the back. This is the case back for the Panerai, uh, the Panerai GMT. It's very it's a very simple case back with the actual serial numbers of the watch on the back of the case. Uh, of course, I blocked it out with a piece of paper. Um, has an official Panerai name engraved along the side of it. As you can see there. Also states the water resistance at the bottom right with a little fish and a 300, uh, 300M, which means 300 meters or 1,000 feet of water resistance. It is made out of, their, uh, both watches are made out of the industry standard stainless steel, which is the 316L steel. Okay. But specifically, let's talk about the movement. <clears throat> for the PAM, for this PAM GMT, it is COSC certified, as I mentioned before. It is a ETA movement, uh, so it's not an in-house movement. It's a 7750-P1. It has a 42-hour power reserve. Okay. Whereas, we move on to the PAM, uh, PAM 114, we have a exhibition case back. So apologize for reflection there. So we have an exhibition case back as you can see. You can see, actually see the movement of the case, uh, rather the movement in, uh, housed in the case. And it has the same engravings, the official Panerai name, the serial number, and the water resistance. The so water resistance is the same. It is 300, uh, 300 meters or 1,000 feet. Uh, specifically for the uh, PAM 114's movement, it has a power reserve of 56 hours. Uh, 56 hours, uh, and the, e the, move, the base movement is the ETA 6497 uh, movement, so it is not in house movement as well. Uh, main difference really is just that skeleton case back, so you can actually see the inside of the movement. This is a sapphire crystal. Okay. So let me go ahead and show you these. Let me go ahead and show you these watches on the wrist. So once again, simply pops out like that, and pop. Okay, and we'll strap in, strap in, and bam. So that's that's the Luminor GMT. Very nice. Profile is a little high. Might stretch out a little. Might stretch out suit cuffs and such. And let's go with, let me show you the base model on my wrist now. So let's go ahead and take this off. This okay, so that's the base model on the wrist. Okay, not bad. Profile, same thing. We'll stretch out suit cuffs perhaps. Okay. So if you're interested in, this, in purchasing this model or any other model for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazztime.com. That's J-A-Z-T-I-M-E.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed. We offer free shipping and a one-year warranty. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe below. we got lots more to show you guys. Thanks for watching.